Aren't you something to admire? That means I like looking at you. Um, and then the next line is, because your shine is something like a mirror. He's making a, com he's making a comparison. A lot of times when you see the word like, or like a something, you're comparing. This yeah. thing is like this thing. These two things are alike. They're similar. You're making a, you're comparing them. Um, so, be, uh, because your shine, like a mirror shines, your shine is something like a mirror. And I can't help but notice you reflect, oh, there's another mirror comparison because when you look in a mirror, you're looking at your own reflection. Uh. But he is saying this person, I'm assuming it's a woman, <laughs> he's saying this woman reflects his own heart. So when he looks at her, <laughs> when he looks at her, he sees his own heart looking back. Oh, it's so romantic. I know. Um, in this heart of mine, Grace, Grace. Grace. What? What? Did you just want attention? Is that it? She just wants attention. That's it. Little Aww. kitty. Okay. Um, if you ever feel alone, oh, and this glare makes me hard to find. Have you ever taken a mirror and moved it so that the sun shines in the mirror and then blinds the person? That blinding light from another object is called a glare. Yes, that's a glare, exactly. Mm -hmm. You can have a glare from a mirror. You can have a glare from a car on a sunny day. Uh -huh. You can have a glare on anything shiny, a water. Okay. Ripples in the water can sometimes um, produce a glare and make it hard to see. Okay, so the gl um, if you ever feel alone and the glare makes me hard to find, because she's like, oh, it's so shiny, I can't see you. Where are you, Justin? Uh... It makes me hard to find. Just know. <laughs> I can't trust you guys. <laughs> Just know that. Ooh, a nice complex sentence there. Just know that I'm always parallel on the other side. What is parallel? Yes, parallel means two lines or two entities that go side by side but never meet never meet they just go parallel so mirror justin <laughs> okay questions i got it okay next verse because when people talk and they drop the B in because, um, it's never used in writing, not in proper writing, but in lyrics it is because you have to fit a certain number of syllables into a certain rhythm. <clears throat> we will do whatever it takes in the English language, including murdering it, <laughs> to, make, to make a song sound good, but that's okay because it's art. So he's dropping the B in because. So you see how there's an apostrophe and then the word C-A-U-S-E, which is actually cause. But if you're saying because, but dropping the B, you just say cause. Cause. Cause with your hand in my hand and a pocket full of soul, I can tell you there's no place we couldn't go. With your hand in my hand. Oh, oh, right? <laughs> um, and a pocket full of soul. That's just poetic sounding. It doesn't 
really. Like you can't have soul in a pocket. <laughs> you can have money in your pocket. Yeah. But I think he's just being cute and writing a song. That's fine. I'm not going to judge it. Um, but in a pocket full of soul. Didn't somebody write pocket full of sunshine? Some people say a pocket full of sunshine, a pocket full of love. This guy's saying a pocket full of soul. With your hand in my hand and a pocket full of soul, I can tell you there's no place we couldn't go. That means we can go anywhere. It's a double negative and a double negative. The second negative negates the first negative, so it makes it a positive. In other words, two wrongs do make a right. I'm just kidding. They don't. But a two double, um, a double negative, two negatives, make it a positive. There, there's no place we could not go. That's no and not. That means we can go anywhere. Just put your hand on the glass, like she's on this side of the mirror and he's on this side of the mirror. She said, he says, just put your hand on this side of the glass. I'm here trying to pull you through. There's a glass here, it's a mirror. She's on this side. He says, put your hand on the glass and I'll put my hand here and I will try to pull you through the glass, okay? You just gotta be strong. Gotta, G-O-T-T-A is slang for have to or got to, but in this case it would be you have to be strong. You must be strong. You gotta be strong. You gotta be strong, Risa. Don't be weak. You gotta be strong. If you're gonna go through glass to the other side of the mirror, you gotta be strong. You can't be weak and do that. Have you ever tried to go through glass? No. Nope. <laughs> you gotta be strong to do it. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna lose you now. Wanna is slang for want to, and it's perfectly fine if you wanna say that in a song or in your running speech like I just did. Wanna, 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 want to, want to, want to. Either way, if you're writing it, it's want to. To. Mm. But if you're saying it, mm -hmm. want to or wanna, that's just how we speak when we're speaking fluently. But you can speak fluently and say want to as well. I'm not judging. Because <laughs> everybody has an accent. Okay, so the, the phrase is, because I don't want to lose you now, I'm looking right at the other half of me. Um, not half this way. I think it's like, okay, so in love, some people believe that one person and another, per two people are half a person, a half a soul, and come together and make one soul. And that's where you get the phrase, soulmate okay so he's saying this one half i am one half and you are the other half you are my other half and then they become one i don't know what to believe in terms of soulmates and all that but i think that's what he means in this sentence i'm looking right at the other half of me the vacancy that sat in my heart like I'm only half a heart and I, my other half is missing. That's vacant, that's empty. The vacancy that sat in my heart is a space that now you hold. So first, <laughs> there's a half of a heart missing and now whoosh, is a space that this other person holds. Before I was just half a heart and now you come along and now I'm a whole heart. Aww. Show me how to fight for now and I'll tell you, baby, it was easy 
coming back here to you. Once I figured it out, you were right here all along. Um, I need more context to be able to explain what he means there, but he's basically saying, show me how to fight for us. Like, tell me what I need to do for us to be together, I think. Um, and he says, and it will be easy to come back here. Or it was easy coming back here. Once I figured it out, you were right here all along. Oh, so they knew each other before, but he never really thought of her as a soulmate. But now he's looking at her going, oh, that's my soulmate. Come back. Tell me, tell me what to do so I can make this right. I think. But I don't know what's going on in his head. It's like my, it's like you're my mirror. Here's the next part. It's like, remember, we're making a comparison when you see the word like. Uh. It's like you're my mirror, my mirror staring back at me. I couldn't get any bigger with anyone else beside of me. That's bad grammar. Beside me, no of, drop the of, Justin. <laughs> um, anyway, and now it's clear as this promise, now it's clear as this promise that we're making two reflections into one, two halves, Risa, one, become one. Um, that we're making two reflections into one. Because it's like you're my mirror, my mirror staring back at me, staring back at me. Are you just getting all gushy over there because this song is so romantic? so romantic I know it is okay next I think this is the last verse by the way a little bit of song vocabulary a song will have verses which are different and then the chorus which is the same throughout the song and then they have um, another part I think it's called the stanza that is or a bridge I'm sorry it's not a stanza it's a bridge and the bridge is like the one odd part in the song that they throw in to kind of tie everything together. Oh. A bridge links the song together. Okay, um, aren't you something, an original? Cause it doesn't seem merely a sample. And I can't help but stare because I see truth somewhere in your eyes. I can't ever change without you. You reflect me. I love that about you. And if I could, I would look at us all the time. Any questions? <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, okay, so you have an original. Nothing else is like an original. Like every snowflake is unique. Every snowflake is different. Yeah. Every snowflake is an original. Every human being is an original. A sample is a, a part of something larger. So an original is, a, is unique and different from anything else. And a sample is something similar to other things. So he says, aren't you something, an original? Because it doesn't seem merely a sample. It sounds to me like he was thinking of <clears throat> trying to rhyme to make it fit into the song. But that's okay. That's okay. A song's a song. And art is art. You can do whatever you want. Um... And I can't help but stare. 
like he's staring at her and he's and and she's like stop staring at me he goes I can't help it I can't stop staring at you. I can't help it I can't help but stare at you because I see truth somewhere in your eyes so I'm staring at you and the girl's like stop staring at me and he goes no I can't I can't help it I see truth somewhere in there <laughs> and and I can't ever change without you. You reflect me. Another mirror reference, because you're mm -hmm. making a comparison, an analogy. Um, I love that about you. I love that you reflect me. And if I could, I would look at us all the time. Any questions? I die. Okay. Yes, it's a it's a sweet song. <laughs>